sa tagsakabutang, may panag-on kag tion sa tagsakakatuyuan sa idalum sang langit kag subong ululupod kita sa tion sa pagtuon. Good evening mga kapaglaom. Good evening mga kapaglaom. Good evening Kuya Randy. Good yes. evening sa aton mga kapaglaom all over Western Visayas, Luzon, Visayas kag Mindanao sa aton mga kapaglaom nga guwa sa pungsod sa Pilipinas. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon kun diin ka man sa bilog nga kalibutan. Malipayon kami nga sa sining nga tinion ulupod kita nga magatuon sang aton nga leksyon mga kapaglaom. We are now on uh, another nga nga leksyon for the whole week. It's uh, Tuesday, forever faithful to His covenant. Please, do get your lessons, ma grab your lessons, mga kapaglaom, pens and uh, papers. Agod nga makatake note ka mo sa aton nga mga makuha nga mga punto sa sininga ka kagabihon. And I hope, mga kapaglaom, nga ikaw <coughs> maka, sorry, makahatag sang dako nga uh, makakuha sang dako nga paglaom kag mga uh, mensahe nga ma-share naton sa upcoming nga uh, Sabbath school sa aton nga inog adlaw nga inog pahaway this uh, week makapaglaom together with me aton ka paglaom kay Randy Baliton magabulig sa aton nga mas maintindihan kag makuha naton ang aton nga leksyon sa sini nga kagabihon kuya Randy Yes, friends. May gabi sa aton mga kapaglaom sa bilog na West, West, West Design Conference yeah. and uh, um, good evening no, sa mga uh, kapanyapon subong and uh, whatever you're doing kapaglaom, thank you so much for taking your time yeah. to study with us. Yes, Kuya Randy, before natin i-dive in good mga kapaglaom, please do share sa atin nga live stream. Agod nga, hindi lang kamo ang makapamati sa pulong sa Diyos, atin nga leksyon. Ma-share natin sa atin mga kaabiyanan online ang atin nga dako nga paglaom nga atin matunan sining nga gabi. And please do comment down sa atin nga comment section. Mention your friends. Agod nga ma-notify man sila nga we have tion sa pagtoon. And also, if you want to support the Ministry of Hope Channel Western Visa you can send your GCash. Uh, you can send your gift through GCash, mga kapaglaom. You can message our page and we can give you some details kung paano ka makabulig sang aton ng ministry. Mga kapaglaom, let us all pray first before we study God's word. Let us pray. Gracious, kind, loving, heavenly Father, we praise you, O Lord, for you are worthy of all praises. You are my God. You are our Savior. You are our Redeemer, our King. You are the owner of our life. Oh God, we come to you with filthy hearts as sinners as we are. I pray, dear Lord, that with Kapaglaom Kuya Randy and the rest ng mga Kapaglaom namun, mga nagalantaw online, teach us, Father God, to confess our sins and may the blood of Jesus Christ empty us from all evilness, oh God. Prepare us for the blessings that we are to about to receive this evening as we read our lesson tonight. I hope, dear Lord, that you will teach us to lift Jesus Christ up and all of us will draw closer to the cross and we will see how gracious you are and how loving you are through Jesus Christ. Thank you for everything. These things I ask through the merits of the blood of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes, mga kapaglaom, no? Kanami sa atin nga leksyon, subong nga kagabihon. Bangod, this will remind us, brings us to also the the common nga statement nga naga naga guwa sa social media even sa aton mga generation subong no mga youth nga naghambal about promises it says that others say says that promises are made to be broken tuod gid mana mga kauturan or paano naton all of us are seeking a promise gid siguro wala man sing isa sa aton nga gusto nga i-break gid ang promises but now we will learn kung sin o kag paano naton nga mas maintindihan kang sin o naton makuha ang promesa nga hindi gid siya ma-break mga kauturan kag he is faithful sa iya nga mga promesa sa iya nga covenant our title for today is forever faithful to his covenant sin o bala ni mga kauturan kag paano naton nga mas makilala aton Dios sa iya nga pagka Dios sa sini nga gabion Kuya Randy Valenton can you give us uh, a bit nga aton nga i-expect for today's study Kuya Randy I think we have to start by reading um, the Davidic yeah. uh, covenant no nga gin 
prom- promesa sa Diyos. Mm-hmm. Um, it is found in Psalm 89. So I'll be reading here, mga kapaglam. I'll be okay. reading from King James Version. And I will appoint him to be my firstborn, the most exalted of the kings of the earth. Mm-hmm. I will maintain my love to him forever and my covenant with him will never fail. I will establish his line forever, his throne as long as the heavens endure. If his sons forsake my law and do not follow my statutes, if they violate my decrees and fail to keep my commandments, I will push punish their sin mm-hmm. with the rod, their iniquity with flogging. Uh, continuing verse 38 to 46. But you have rejected, mm. you have spurned, you have been very angry with your anointed one. You have renounced the covenant with your servant mm-hmm. and have defiled his crown in the dust. You have broken through all his walls and reduced his strongholds to ruins. All who pass by have plundered him. He has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his foes. You have made all his enemies rejoice. Indeed, you have turned back the edge of his sword and have not supported him in battle. You have put an end to his splendor and cast his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth. You have covered him with a mantle of shame. Mm -hmm. How long, Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? In Psalm 132 verses 10 to 12 it says for the sake of your servant david do not reject your anointed one the lord swore an oath to david a sure oath he will not revoke one of your own descendants i will place on your throne if your sons keep my covenant and the statutes i teach them then their sons will sit on your throne forever and ever Mm-hmm. So, uh, ano ba ining Davidic Covenant? Mm-hmm. Um, actually, ang Davidic Covenant is ang promesa sa Diyos where um, he gin, gin promise niya nga one of the descendants of David will reign mm-hmm. uh, sa throne over the people of God. And in fact, it is a continuation sa earlier na covenant mm-hmm. na gin promise niya nga a davidic king so meaning um in line with the um with the bloodline of david king david will become a figure through whom god will secure the promise of mm-hmm. land yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, um it's it's amazing to figure out and to realize nga Jesus himself was actually a descendant of uh, King David no and uh, mabasa naton diri sa earlier when when i read in Psalm 89 so you hear there David lamenting um, because um, the harsh reality set in sa ila na um, although my pro- my promise my covenant so when you say covenant man rents it's it's a mm-hmm. uh, Kumbaga, it's a pact between two people. Mm. Usually, no? may batian ko na sa marriage sa mm. kuya. It, it, it's not just a one-way mm. promise. It's yeah. not just amo ni ako promise ay mo, but you also have a promise to mm. me. It's a covenant, no? It's a pact. Oh, um, mutual siya. Duha. Yes, mm-hmm. but um, mind you, si King David hindi siya. He is a human being, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and human as he is, he is not always faithful to the lord no given sa, sa story ni david he is not always faithful to the lord mm-hmm. but despite sa unfaithfulness sa human side yeah. in this covenant because this is covenant between divine and uh, mortal mm-hmm. beings which which is us human beings uh, although hindi man faithful lang part sa human beings but uh, what is really astounding here is that God, when He make and when He makes a covenant, a promise, mm-hmm. He would really do it, and He is really serious about it. No, I mean, sa atin lang man also siguro ang saying na promises are meant, meant to, to be broken. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But to God, promises are meant to be fulfilled. Yeah. And uh, um, although although it was being promised uh, nga, uh, mm. one of the descendants of David will be crowned as the king and will reign forevermore mm. and will deliver uh, the people of God, uh, as we see, wala manggid nila nakita in their lifetime, no? in their in the timeline of King David's reign, wala man niya na witness ini nga promise being fulfilled. But we know that God has been faithful sa iya, mm-hmm. despite sa iya, uh, sa iya mga failures, sa iya mga, even mga crimes that he have committed. God has still been always faithful. Pero it doesn't mean, Renz, na um, because God promised this kind of life in the future, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean nga wala siya uh, condition. Yeah. No? But the only condition was for us to be uh, to be faithful in a way na um, our sins needs and must be forgiven. Mm-hmm. No, our sins are ma- needs and ma- needs to be forgiven. Mm-hmm. Um, in order for God to be contented no para makontento ang Ginoo in fulfilling his promise but don't get me wrong ha, mga ka, mga kaoturan mga kapaglaom na it doesn't mean na um kun hindi matabo ang promesa sa Ginoo in your lifetime it doesn't mean na hindi siya matabo mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that it will not happen because ah. there's there, there's the thing we we call as um divine orchestration yeah uh-huh, uh-huh. no um God is not limited in this lifetime. You remember that. Mm-hmm, he is mm-hmm. not limit he, he is not bound by space and time. He is time and space himself. himself. Mm-hmm. So, um the promise might not be fulfilled during the time of David, mm-hmm. but it is being fulfilled during the time of Jesus. Bisan wala na si David. Yes. Yeah. Even though wala na nila na witness mm. ang fulfillment sa promise, but God or still fulfilled it. Um, because he is still the technically the in line, mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. sa 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 lineage ni David. And uh, what is amazing here is, amo ni, um, ang ginfulfill ni, ni sa ministry ni Jesus in his life here on earth um, is still the covenant between human and God. Yeah, you know why. Um, because Jesus is human, 100%, and He is also God. 100%. Yes. Wow. Um, wow. So, it is still a fulfillment of covenant. Wow. Mm-hmm. Not because um, Juan, si Juan de la Cruz is faithful, not because si Maria is faithful. No. The covenant is fulfilled because Jesus is faithful, faithful. period. Wow. No one else. Um, so you see, um, there is still divine orchestration and intervention here, no, in fulfilling the promise. That is that is why, um, no matter how how chaotic our life can be, no, um, so since last night I, I I shared a part of my story, mm-hmm. um, no matter how dark the future may seem, yeah. no, nga hindi mo makita ang hope the future um, you just have to have faith na um, there is a God out there even if you don't see it even if you don't feel it even if um, you don't sense it no na um, there will come a time na your life um will be a fulfillment of God's promise in you. You know, um, ang ginafocus sa mga tao subong is, ano eh, um, when they say, when you walk with God, they have this fantasy. I would say it's a fantasy and it's an imagination. Mm-hmm. Na, um, life will be better. Mm-hmm. 
a bed of roses. No, it's it's it it won't be better. Mm-hmm. Um, no, in a sense that it won't be better in a sense na you're la- hapos lang ang imo kabuhi na y- you will not go through trials yeah, yeah, and uh-huh. suffering. That's not what I oh, that's that's what I meant when it's not going to be better in mm-hmm. that sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it will be better in a sense na um in the midst of this suffering yeah, even if, and wow. if sa imo failures yeah, uh-huh. Um, you are going to bear fruit. Mm, mm, yeah. You are going to bear fruit. And amo ina ang pinaka goal sa ginoo sa ato na we will bear His image, and uh, we must have the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. No, so we we will become more like Christ, and uh, that's what I'm what I'm trying to mean, mga kapaglaom na. Um, Although subong hindi mo man ma realize kung ano gid ang purpose sa ginuos sa mga circumstance sa imo kabuhi subong but uh, when you have faith in God and depend on him even in the midst of the hardest trials in life um, later on later on you will find purpose and you will realize na na overcome ko na gali. no uh-huh. ang the past is in the past mm-hmm. um i have gone through that and then i was able to overcome it because god has been faithful to me mm-hmm. not because kaya ko but he he gave me strength to do that mm-hmm. no i i i like to, i like to share this another um just a quick testimony um when continuation sa testimony ta kagabi mm-hmm. um when when i was diagnosed with hiv last 2020 i didn't find purpose sa akong self so um for two years i lived a lawless life mm-hmm. na ginpabayan ko nga akong self ma drown into sin kumbaga sa kasabihan pa uh, na, nabasa ka naman so why don't you just I swim, swim uh-huh. no uh, so that's what basically i did um so i didn't i did not to, to be to be honest wala ko nakita akong self na mas save ko sa amo na nga sitwasyon mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but because um my friends were praying for me mm-hmm. and Jesus is still working in my life because my my friends are constantly interceding for me mm-hmm. um god saved me out from that not because i'm faithful not because nag effort ko mm-hmm. to seek god in fact i was not seeking god mm-hmm. at, at all he was the one seeking me mm-hmm. and then I had that, you know, contemplation moment na, Lord, what will I do? Um, what am I gonna do? Mm-mm. Ano, ano, what's the next step? But you know what? I, I, I did not rush. Wala ako nag-rush sa, sa stage nga, dapat makabalik na ako sa church, dapat makabalik na ako sa ministry, dapat maka, maka-crusade na ako, maka-preach na ako, makakanta mm-hmm. na ako balik. I was not rushing to that stage of life. Yeah. Well, I'm taking my time na, Lord, um, teach me again no um teach me again how to learn to trust you how mm. to have a relationship with you again and then it was it was god who just led me back mm-hmm. to he, to where i left how important mm. it is kuya sa an, an, ano ang dako nga bulig sa imo sa promesa sa Ginoo sa in, in that situation you know 2016 i made a made a vow sa Ginoo mm-hmm. um when that time i i got rescued from a dangerous relationship i had a relationship with a guy who had hiv mm-hmm. and then um 5 months later i had when when we broke up 5 months later i, I had my that was technically my second hiv test uh-huh. and i turned out to be negative so it was like a second chance for me from God na gin uh, gin prom- promise ko sa gin on the Lord I will give my life to you. So instead of going abroad working as a nurse, I will be a missionary. So that's how I became a missionary. But then along the way, I became unfaithful. So maka <laughs> maka maka relate gigo ni David yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kay along the way I became unfaithful and mm-hmm. then I suffered all this uh, um, consequences and he even ask God why mm. why did you took away my story because ang mm-hmm. akong story is is God saved me from HIV but yeah. that's not the case it, anymore it oh, so no, why Lord why did you why did you take away my story mm. the feeling ko Renz na 
um, gin, I, I was being shut off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I had no voice to, to, to tell already. Mm -mm. I had no story to tell because mm -mm. that was the case. But you know what? Um, ang, ang sa akon, uh, what is really in my mind right now when I share this is ang promise niya when he said in the Bible na he who has begun a good work in you will be faithful to, to complete, complete it. it. Wow. You know what? Pagbalik ko, wow. when I came back in faith, I did not even... Uh, no, I had I had depression to a point nga I committed attempted suicide mm -mm. twice. But then you know what? God made a way. He did a divine intervention. Two weeks after I attempted suicide, I got a call from uh, B call, and then they wanted me to speak about depression. Mm -mm. The irony, de ba? Mm -mm. So I was like, Lord, are you sure? I just attempted suicide two weeks ago, yeah. but then He made. Sure, na I can overcome that depression, mm -hmm. so I can also. It will also be a message mm -hmm. to share. So, amo na amat amat gin balik niya sa sa ministry until such time I was being called. Uh, I, uh, our director sa Pafco Amazing Facts, Philippine Amazing Facts, called me on my birthday, mm -hmm. wanted me to go back to Amazing Facts and do Crusade again. Mm -hmm. So, amat amat gin nagbalik, and then that's how I realized friends na. The impact, mm -hmm. no. Um, that's how I realized na this is what it meant na he will be the one who is faithful to complete yeah. his promise, not mm -mm. me, mm -mm -mm -mm. not me, because na I cannot be faithful. Eh. Tapos hindi pagid siya sa amo na ang expectation natin nga. Like ang process bala it, it hindi siya maintindihan nga. Ha, God allowed this painful nga process, mm. but dira na nimo man siya maintindihan nga. Dito na nimo maintindihan nga. Ah, amo gali. That's why nga gina gipa gipa experience siya sa ka, ka sa amo na because God wants to complete it in that way nga hindi naton maintindihan kuya ran. Kanami gid man sa uh, promise sa Ginoo no nga Hindi na siya ma-question. It 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 brought me to a to a, a realization a realization nga we cannot question him sa iya nga pama, paagi kuya kung paano niya i-fulfill iya nga promise. Ang aton lang is just to believe that he will no matter what's the the way that that's mm -mm. um faith that works. Wow, no. No, hindi lang you don't just believe yeah. but uh -uh. um it should it must be faith that works wow. not a presumptive faith not a dead faith and i would like to reiterate ang ginsulat diri which is very beautiful uh, ginambal diri in short although the human component of the covenant failed no just as at, as yeah. what we are sharing mm -hmm. although si king david failed although mm -hmm. ang promise ko sa ginoo i yeah. failed on my part but then the people could rest in the promise of god's and changing purposes wow, yeah. through the wow. Messiah. Because the Messiah who embodies all righteousness and salvation of Israel and of the whole world. And this is what I really like about the cross, Rens. Um, we know, we have been uh, hearing the story of salvation and how Jesus Christ uh, sacrificed himself for us. But you know what? If you start to have a relationship with the Lord, you would realize na God is very personal because the way He is saving us mm. individually yeah. mm -mm. and ang means bala, ang ways na ginagamit niya is tailored for you, just mm -mm. for you alone. Because ang struggle ko is not, you, the same. may not be the struggle of others. Yeah. Their struggle may not be my struggle. So God is very, very personal in wow, saving wow, us. Wow. And you know what? I, I like how how our, our lesson is ending here. Na, um, gin, Jesus is the son of David and the Messiah. He is called the firstborn over all creation. Because ang, ang, ang gin, gin ng baldiri, um, David was technically not the, the firstborn. Mm -hmm. Actually, hindi siya ang firstborn eh. But, um, in his lineage, along along with his bloodline, Jesus came in and he became the firstborn over all creation. And uh, you know how how he was given this title and how he was given this authority. Mm -hmm. And he was even 
crowned as the supreme king over the whole world. You know how? It is when he resurrected from the dead. Because that was, ano eh, that was the game changer It's a great controversy. Mm -hmm. When Jesus died, Satan thought he won, won. the great controversy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, Jesus overcame the price of sin, which mm -hmm. is death. Mm -hmm. Kaya nag siya because yeah. if he did not resurrect, our faith is useless. Yeah. Christianity is nothing mm -mm. if our Lord is in the tomb, no? yeah. buried. But then because clearly, ang title nga firstborn, hindi lang siya nag express nga si David as a biological status. Mm -hmm. um, but it is the same with Jesus na this title will signify a special honor and authority according to Colossians. Mm -hmm. One and a uh, one sixteen twenty to twenty two. So amo ini ng um, hambal sa ato na lesson subong that God, God the Father made His Son Jesus as the supreme King over the whole world. Sa tion ng gin uh, gin raise niya iya anak ng si Jesus from the dead when Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Um, so. Yeah, that that's I think that that I believe that that is the culmination of his faithfulness when he rose from the dead. Wow. You know why? Because um it is wala na wala ka na ano eh wala ka na eh, there's nothing to ask for. I mean, what else would you ask for? We our, our problem lang here on earth when sin came in is mm -hmm. that we all will die mm -hmm. sooner mm -hmm. or later. That mm -hmm. was that was the root of it all. Mm -hmm. No, because the wages of sin is death. Yeah. So to solve that problem, somebody has to overcome death. Mm -hmm. And some someone already did. You wow. know, Jesus already overcame that. And what can you ask for? When people nowadays rent, they ask for wealth, they ask for fortune, they ask for relationship, they ask for career. Yeah. But are we asking for God to reveal Himself sa aton? Personally. Are we asking for a relationship sa so yeah. we can know Him personally? You know, There's nothing more to ask because he already gave it mm -hmm. that victory over death. Yeah. I mean, I could not ask for more rents. What mm -hmm. about you? The same, Kuya Ran. I think, wala gid man sang maka equal na gid. Wala gid sang dari sa kalibutan. Siguro, that's why many people are seeking this joy and satisfaction but nothing nothing can satisfy here in this world unless we have Jesus Christ because when we have Jesus Christ it would satisfy us amo gani hambal mo wala na wala na kasing pangayuon pa when you have Jesus Christ in your heart because you be, when you believe and you accept Jesus in your heart you accept not just by 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 word you live it You live by by life. You live it sa imong kabuhi, and you dwell because it says here in John one fourteen, kuya, the Word was made flesh, Jesus Christ, and dwell among us. So sa ginhambal mo galik ng kaganihan, he wants to have a personal relationship sa aton. He wants to dwell in us, and and so ang aton lang is just to to have an open heart, a willing heart to accept him, to live. In our life, because God is not forcing us, mga kapaglam. God is not forcing us, kuya nga. Oh, open mo ang heart mo, kag ako mag ano. So God is just, just inviting. God is just inviting us, mga kapaglam, to have a relationship with Him. God is just so gracious, merciful, and loving and understanding. But and God is just so. Kan hindi nato mga measure git yah nga yah nga yah nga mind of how. He is redeeming us day by day. How he is winning us. How is he is um um 
uh, pursuing ya yeah, pursuing as mga kapaglodog gapangaluya gali sa aton bala nga in, in man, many times ga, ga reject kita sa iya many times ga reject kita sa iya but god is faithful gid sa iya nga promesa nga siya gusto gid maga dwell in our life and i hope mga kapaglaom in this in this invitation do, do you want god to dwell in your heart do you want god to to live in your life mga kapaglaom um how uh, ano ni mo kapalangga ang Dios kag ano ni mo kakilala ang Dios nga imo ha siyang ialaw to open i- open ni anato natong heart and he will live in our life and be able to live like Jesus Christ as well because Jesus Christ is the character of God it says here kuya Randy nga amuman ang character ni Jesus Christ and so uh, atong question sa atong lesson kuya Randy can you live a uh, question no sa atong mga kapaglaom subo nga kagabihon sa atong nga lesson uh, to conclude this uh, kuya Ran ano bala ang lesson uh, question sa atong nga lesson nga mapabili natin so what we should ponder upon no uh, sa atong na discuss ng gaina um, starting from the promise of God to give us the Messiah and now Messiah already came and fulfilled that promise mm-hmm. uh, that covenant and he raised from the dead um, that alone um Reflect upon that, kapag laom. Um, think about what kind of, what Jesus has done for you. What did He do in the past? Yeah. And uh, ano ang promise nga makuha natin from what He did, from that experience nga we should carry every day. I remember yeah. this, uh, my friend, Clea. Hello, Clea, if you're watching. Uh, sa Gimaras. We were in Gimaras last, la, uh, yeah, it, last it, it was week. two weeks ago actually, two weeks ah. ago, when we went to Komyan for their uh, church anniversary. She asked me, now what's your daily resolve? Kung baga, ginpamangkot niya ko if ano bala ang akon everyday na reason why I do this for yeah. the Lord. Mm-hmm. So, Actually, I was speechless because I have not thought about it. Mm-mm. I don't know what to say. But then, our lesson today reminded me na um, taking taking from the experience and uh, what Jesus yeah. gave us and did for us, na dapat makuha kita, makuha kita something out of it and yeah, we will yeah, yeah. Wow. remember it every day and remind our, ourselves that I do this because this is what I have um, realized from the cross. Yeah. And because Jesus did it to me, I do this every day for Him because this is what He has promised. And it goes beyond ano lang, rents. It goes beyond eternal life. Yeah. Because you know what? The, the greatest promise eh, that uh, this covenant can bring us, hindi lang heaven, hindi lang eternal life, but a life with our Savior yeah. Yeah. together wow. for eternity. Amen for that, Kuya Randy. So, mga kapaglaom, no, nami, gid, damo pagid kita tani nga ma-storyahan ma, sa aton nga leksyon, but our time is limited. So, I think it is now time to conclude this with a prayer. Kuya Randy, can you please lead us in prayer? Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, thank you so much for revealing to us how faithful and how you have been pursuing us Thank you, Lord, that uh, the covenant that you have made um, from the time of David is still something we can claim and we can still be a rightful heir to your, to your kingdom and uh, we can still be called sons and daughters yes, Lord. of your kingdom. Of, and uh, we thank you, Lord, that Jesus Christ have been raised from the dead mm-hmm. and He is now interceding for us in that heavenly sanctuary. And I thank you, Father, because you have proved to us today that however our life may seem hopeless, mm-hmm. you are faithful to save us and you are faithful to redeem us and transform us. Thank you, Lord, that out of your great love for us, you, out of your goodness, Lord, we are still here 
learning, discovering, and experiencing your goodness. Thank you, Father, for everything. May you also bless those who are hearing and watching this uh, lesson study. And I pray all of us will find Jesus Christ in our hearts. In your powerful name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Kuya Randy, for leading us sa aton nga study sa mga kagabi yun. Sa aton mga kapaglam, a quick greeting. Kapaglam, Yular Santiago, Edna Peralta, Nenet Arapol. Kapaglam, Ati Mimi. Kapaglam, Liza Acero. Kapaglam, Mayer Linda Dumandan Arroyo Delfa Pahilagaw. Erd Edralin Espino Darlet Bacolod Salvador Veronica Galve Lani Eslabon Leng Bretana uh, Mayad nga gabi Kapaglaom Marli Joy Bantolo Kapaglaom Nirya Payet Balintongo Good evening po Elisa Estores Leia Garbo Jean Neno Nuevo Elvi Mosquera Freddy Flores Jovelin Faigo Ana Arangote and Yular Santiago and sa aton kapaglaom Christmas makapobres and my family also good evening sa inyo nga tanan Kuya Ran do you want to greet your family kasi nagalandaw sila I don't think they're watching <laughs> but um mayong gabi <laughs> Yeah thank you so much once again mga kapaglaom remember that our God before is the same God we have now and the God that will save us in the future. Sa gihapon, mga kapaglaom, updanay kita. Buwas naman, another nga topiko. Kitanay kita liwat, dari lang sa Tion sa Pagtoon. Good evening. Good evening.